Okay, we gotta talk about it. Everybody's talking about it. Nano Banana is here and it's real, real good. And I gotta admit, some of these AI models up until now, I've been a little bit of a doubter. Very, very inconsistent with text and designs and faces, specifically character sets. But Nano Banana has essentially just swept in and say, hey, I'll take all of your problems and I'll solve them for you. But it doesn't just help to talk about it. Let's look at some stuff. So I've got a flow built out here. This is for like a pasta brand. And every image that you see here is generated with Nano Banana. The consistency, the logos and the generations. Amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. The accuracy to the prompt, if we look at some of these prompts, using the provided image, please add a family of three, right? This family of three, it's the same hand wearing the same thing and the same pizza being pulled the same distance from the box with the correct logo on on the box mom dad and child seated together naturally make them appear candid and relaxed photographed analog film bright harsh direct flash overexposed highlights light fun mood i mean what more are you going to ask for it's nailed it right and then we jump to the next one replace the family with a group of three different races correct you got it again didn't change that's what i'm trying to get at man it did not change the logo on the box that has been the issue, this entire time, every single time you generate something, the logos would get worse and worse. And it's like the further that you deviate from whatever the original image that you generated or an image that you gave the AI would deviate further and further and further from the original image. But what Nano Banana seems to be able to do is target really, really well what you want it to change while keeping everything else the same, right? So let's look at a couple of these. We've got our logo right here and it says using the logo provided add it clearly white italian restaurant takeout bag analog film photo so it's got a little bit of grain on it that i can see amazing, amazing. hand putting pasta container in there i mean what are we doing? Shot, bright, harsh, direct, flash, overexposed highlights. And then, you know, you move to the next smart board. These are connected together. Show full pasta container, centered logo sticker, right on there. Uncooked pasta and tomatoes scattered sparsely in the background. I mean, looks good to me. It looks like what was asked. Let's look at this one here. Provided logo, put it on a folded napkin. A woman casually wipes her mouth after eating pasta. With that napkin, you know, same flash photography, non-formal setting. And now we've expanded retain the woman and add a man beside her so it looks like they're on a date and it's romantic it's the same girl it's the same girl we have solved the issue if you asked like any other ai model to do this she would look completely different in that one and then boom we've got a different pose right so everything is the same here the wine glasses are the same anything that did not have to change did not change anything that does change to fit what's prompted does change. I mean, the shadow on the background, this makes me upset, but also really, really happy. This one is fantastic. Use the provided logo, please add it clearly. Printed menu, analog film, casual style table, plates, napkins, wall in the background, flash photography. And then we've got a group of friends. This, oh my gosh, this is just, it's so good. By the way, this flow is available on Kittle so that you can go look at all of the prompts and everything. Look at this entire flow, see how it was made. We'll link it in the description for you. But I'm going to continue on some of these images. Let's just add a flow right here. I could say something like change the green checker pattern on the tablecloth to red. I mean, come on now. Now come on now. We're in a classic Italian restaurant now. We could keep this going. I'm gonna drag this down, get it out of the way. I'm gonna give it multiple things in this one. Put aviator sunglasses on the man on the left and put a small candle lit in the center of the table. Let's try that on. I mean, I mean, it's right there in the center of the screen. I mean, come on. So my personal use for something like this would be, you know, I'm doing a branding project and I want to present 
something to a client, right? One of the big issues when presenting concepts to clients is if you give them just a logo, they don't get to see that logo in context. And so honestly, sometimes you can't blame them for like, I don't get it or like, I don't like it. But what I like to do and what this would help you do is show them the logo in context with a whole environment so that they are more attached to it. You give the client an opportunity to fall in love with the concept that you provided to them. And honestly, it does not take that long. I mean, this whole entire board was built in maybe like 30 minutes, right? So you may spend the most amount of time on the logo and then 30 minutes, 45 minutes building it out so that you can present something to the client that makes them fall in love with your project more. And you'd be less likely to get your draft rejected, which we as designers are always super for. This is amazing. So we've got the logo and we've got it recreate the typographic logo as an oil stain on a cardboard box, add pizza crumbs. That's fantastic. This one, plate, tomato sauce, logos, typography, mix sauce, thick, glossy, uneven, textured, pulp, messy, splatters. I mean, it nailed it. Recreate the logo on the inside top part of a pizza box that is open, a pepperoni and green pepper pizza is inside the box and the box is on a table with a green checker pattern on it flash photography harsh highlights and a lot of contrast let's see how it does it's perfect i'm upset right? And it's even got like the grease stains in the same place. The pizza is beautiful. The logo is good. Imagine being able to give the client this so that they could, like they, they need to be able to see it. They need to be able to visualize it, not just the logo, but the environment. Show me a man in his 20s opening this box of pizza. Side view. He has three friends around him flash photography, harsh highlights, and lots of contrast, informal setting, candid. Let's try that. I mean, it's pretty spot on. We've got some chips and some Cokes and friends around the table opening the box. They're very, very happy. They're about to eat this pizza. The pizza eater! <laughs> this could be your brand. This could be your pizza. This is incredible. To take it a step further, this would be amazing to help stage shots that you're trying to achieve. Like, let's say you are a photographer, right? Oh, I don't need Kittle, I'm, I'm a photographer, I'm not a graphic designer. You could use this to help stage shots to then shoot if you are a photographer so that you can help get the angle correct so that you have a reference for something and then you shoot the photo. That's just, that's amazing. I mean, there has not been an AI that could do this until now and it exists now and this is the future. And right now in Kittle for all pro and expert users, you have unlimited AI credits for nano banana generations through October 3rd. So you can quite literally go bananas. Try everything, get all of your generations out, create sets, create scenes, create brands, go crazy. Like go generate everything that you wanna generate now before October 3rd and share it with your friends. We wanna get this out. We want more people to use Kittle. We want more people to know about Kittle. So please help us get the message out. If you're not already subscribed to the Kittle YouTube channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment if this was crazy for you. Like this video and thanks so much for watching.